Hey, it's Amy and Tim from Go With Bless. We are still in France and it is Sunday. Sunday means everything is closed and it seems like this is the day that people just relax and have fun with their families. I have found seven festivals. Seven. Yeah, the other day I thought it was four, which was a lot. Now there's seven festivals all within about an hour of our home, all kind of on the same route. We're gonna see how many of them we can do. So let's, let's see, count along with us. We're off to number one, a Renaissance festival. Off we go. We are in Thon, France at festival number one. This is a Renaissance festival, so it's very cool to be in a place where the Renaissance actually happened, uh, participating in a Renaissance festival. This is in downtown Thon, so they actually have the streets closed off. They have hay uh, strewn on the streets, and uh, there are a few booths uh, doing interesting things. We saw a cooper making barrels, and we see a basket maker making baskets. There's also a beautiful church behind us. Um, so. This is uh, our first experience uh, at art festival number one. And it's kind of sleepy, so we're hoping that things pick up. Maybe it's noon, so hopefully people are just out doing things with their family right now, maybe church or lunch, and it will get busier at some of the other festivals, we'll see. It's another beautiful city hall. Okay, festival number three, Tim had, it's very small. Tim had a hard time finding parking. So I said, let me just run behind this building and see if it's even happening. This is kind of the whole thing. So this is super lame. We're in a town called Vaudelinschofen, France. So this is small and Tim isn't even parking. We're moving on to number four and hoping to get lunch there. It's here in Riboville at festival number four. It's a gastronomy festival, a wine and gastronomy festival. And uh, we had a little bit of a hard time finding this one, so we're going to call this our last festival for the day. But uh, we had a little bite here, it was delicious, and uh, we're festivaled out. 
So we're still at the Wine and Gastronomy Festival. So if you want a tasting of the fancier wine, it's a little on the pricey side. However, if you want a bottle of just normal wine, it's very affordable. 12 euro to 15 euro for a bottle of wine. It's a beautiful city hall. This one is in Riboville. Storks seem to be a big part of this region. I would even go as far as to say it seems like they're like a mascot for the region. So here's another nest behind us on the top of this old building, and uh, we just thought we'd share it with you. Whew, we're pooped. We ended up getting to four festivals out of seven. P.S. An eighth one was added on the way. So what did you think of the Renaissance Festival? The Renaissance Festival was uber cool, so it's not exactly what you would think of when you think, think of a Renaissance Festival back in the States. However, the fact that it's happening in a place where the Renaissance actually happened, uber cool. Yeah, number two was, I think it was called West Fulton, if I remember correctly. Today was Donkey's Day. That's why you saw all these pictures of donkeys. The donkeys didn't really have a day. No. They were working. They were petting zoo and donkey rides and things like that, but that's what you saw. Uh, and number three, we're gonna skip, and number four was Reboville. This place is incredible. So uh, this was one of the inspirations, or we read it's one of the inspirations for Beauty and the Beast, the town that Belle actually lives in. So there is a castle that actually sits up on the hill above this town, and you can imagine the beast living up there, and then um, the, the little town that she lives in being Reboville down below. Yeah. It was charming, it was incredible. And then the, the event itself that we've participated in was not in the historic center of the town, it was in a park, and it was uh, an amazing event as well. Yeah, and so if you like the kind of quick through Reboville, I'm gonna do a video, it might be a bonus video tomorrow, it might just be its own standalone video, it might be tomorrow's video, but I could watch these like France towns on fast forward all day long, I love it, I love the buildings and the people and the shops, so if you do too, please tune in. If you also, if you haven't seen our video from three days ago in Requeer, please go see that because you're gonna love that if you liked Reboville today. Um, anyway, if you, by the, before we get into the end, um, I do want to mention that we love getting into these community events. Yeah, we definitely do. So it just there's a, there's a connectedness that comes with just being there, listening to all the French. You feel like you're a part of this community, and so uh, we really like to do these events just just for the simple fact that we get connected with what's going on in these towns. So we yeah. really like that. And you can see everyone's bumping into friends and neighbors, they're kissing each other, they're like yeah. so excited and in like a, 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 a ebullient mood, which is yeah, really nice. It's a good vibe. Yeah. Now, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you haven't already. If you would like to leave a really nice comment, we appreciate it. If you want to leave a bad comment, maybe just email me. Maybe don't leave it at all. Um, anyway, kind of joking. Uh, and if you, think anyone else might like this, we would love if you shared it. Please watch tomorrow. We appreciate you watching today. Thank, Thank you, you and good night. Much.